All right. This is how to use the biophotometer. This is a spectrophotometer. Now, this machine can be used to measure ultraviolet range for DNA and RNA uh, concentration or visible range for protein concentration. So the first thing you do is you come and reach behind it and there is a switch where you actually turn it on. Right here. So you turn it on and you should let it warm up for five to ten minutes. Okay, so now it's ready and this one just happens to be our DNA calculation. And you can see that they have different programs on here. For double-stranded DNA, single-stranded DNA, RNA, you simply press the button that you're going to use. And then protein right here. Okay? And so as this is warming up, you take a cuvette like this. So this is a cuvette. So you take this cuvette. So even though it should be clean, always assume that it's not clean. So you take this cuvette and you bring it to this cuvette cleaner. And the cuvette cleaner works off of this vacuum right here. And so you put the cuvette on top like that and you're going to hear a suction going. And then you take a water bottle and you spray it like that. And you're going to hear a lot of suctioning. So it's cleaning out the cuvette with just the ionized water. Okay. Now, after that is finished, you simply pull it off and you take it back to the spectrophotometer. All right. Now, usually, when you're holding this cuvette, you should hold it on the side. This is, these are the windows that are on the side and they're not very clear on that side, but this is clear. Very narrow path, which is front and back, right here. Okay, so always hold it on this side and before you start using it, wipe it down with a Kim wipe. Okay, so you put some water in here or whatever your blank is and you stick it in here and then you cover it up with this lid right here. Now the lid is not very tight so you have to push down on it. Now before you reach your DNA you press blank and it's going to read 0 0.000 okay now you take this off and simply take the cuvette and you pour it out. Now the reason we're doing this is that to reduce variability you use the same cuvette as you blank to read the sample. Okay, never use two different cuvettes. And so I'm going to assume that this is my sample so I put my sample in in the same cuvette that I blank with and I put it in the slot and the slot should go front, you remember the path, should go front to back, like so. And then you cover it, press down on it, and then this time we're going to press sample. Now, it should give you a value, all right? Now, don't worry about the calculation. This machine is not as smart as you are. The calculation does not take into consideration how to calculate the concentration, okay? Now there's a formula that says one absorbance of double-stranded DNA is equal to 50 micrograms per mil of double-stranded DNA. That is the ratio that you use to calculate. So what you're gonna do is, on, on the left-hand side, you're gonna have one A over 50 microgram per mil is equal to, on the right, Your A, which is your absorbance, let's say, for instance, I read 0 0.1. So on the right hand side, I'm going to have 0 0.1 absorbance over X. And you just saw 4X, all right? So X is equal to whatever 50 microgram per milliliter 
times your absorbance. But please don't forget the dilution factor. Dilution factor is how many times you've diluted your sample and you take that into consideration also. Let's say for instance that I took 10 microliters of DNA and mixed it with 990 microliters of sterile deionized water. Right? I have taken 10 microliters of DNA and diluted it to a total of 1,000 microliters. All right? If you are to take 1,000 divided by 10, that's equal to 100. So my dilution factor is 100. So let's go back to the uh, calculation. My calculation X, the concentration of my DNA in my sample, is X is equal to 50 micrograms per mil times my absorbance, the one I read, times 100, the dilution factor. Okay? Now, which one of these do you read? Well, it's going to give you a, num uh, a few numbers. It's going to give you absorbance at 230, absorbance at 260, and absorbance at 280. You're just interested in two of them. Absorbance at 260 is the one you use for the calculation. Now, there's also something we're concerned with also, and that is the purity of your DNA sample. And you determine the purity by getting the ratio A, or absorbance at 260, divided by your absorbance at 280. Now, if the ratio turns out to be 2, that's perfectly pure. If it turns out to be 1, it's got a lot of contamination. And 280 is the wavelength at which proteins are absorbed. So if you have low ratio, it means you have a lot of protein contamination. In science, in molecular biology, we usually look for a ratio, A260 to A280 ratio of 1.7 to 2.0. We can work with those. Okay? When you're finished, you simply take this cuvette, empty it, and make sure you turn the spectrophotometer off, put the lid back on, and then I'm going to wash this just as a courtesy to the next person that uses it. I put it back on here again and I spray it. And you've got a clean cuvette for the next person. Thank you.